Um, I became a school sister of Notre Dame in response to a very persistent experience of call. For me, that began when I was like in middle school, uh, seventh, eighth grade. It became very much part of my awareness. I would say my whole desire as a young teenager was a sense of responding to God, a desire to give myself in some way to God and the service of the church. So that was the initial impulse and the sisters who attracted me, the school sisters of Notre Dame, really uh, I experienced them relating with us as individuals, not just as a group of students, but interested in us personally and really helping draw out of us what was the potential they saw within, far beyond any potential I saw, I assure you. <laughs> When I entered SSND as an 18-year-old, I had a very undeveloped uh, expectation even of what religious life was going to be. I certainly had a sense that I was going to be part of a community with other women who were committing the, themselves to God and to ministry in the church. And at that time I expected I would be a teacher, which I was for a number of years, elementary and high school. But as things began to change within the congregation and within religious life throughout the world, after the Second Vatican Council, my sense of uh, religious life has grown and expanded to be more about um, being with people in a way that promotes their full development. And that's not limited to interacting through formal education. I've had the opportunity in my years in the community to minister both in elementary and high school teaching, in parish ministry, as a pastoral counselor, as a chaplain with hospice, and in each of those settings my understanding of religious life has continued to grow. Another particular ministry that I've had opportunities to be a part of through the years is formation ministry vocation ministry, inviting others to look at religious life as a possibility for them. You cannot do that kind of ministry, I find, unless you engage in some uh, reflection on what it is and what that lifestyle today can mean. Really um, joining together with others, committing to God and to the community, and um, promoting those values, most critical for me is that sense of the, the value of each person, a real respect for the individual and helping them deepen their own sense of respect for themselves and for others. As that is for me one of the ways in which our call to promote oneness comes about when individuals see themselves as persons worth love, worth being loved, and able to give love to others, and in that way promote unity and oneness, which I think is God's vision for all of us.